as for Salat al-Jum'ah, Salat al-Jum'ah, it is legislated for it to be prayed when a person is resident and not traveling. And the least amount of people for whom it is an obligation to pray Salat al-Jum'ah is three people, as Shaykh ibn Uthmi rahimullah said, the Imam and then two who are praying behind him. And the Jum'ah has to be brought early. Firstly, the Imam begins by climbing the pulpit or the mimbar and giving salam to the people. And then he sits down. And then the adhan is given. And then the khatib, he stands to give a khutbah. And he admonishes the people. If the person said, fear Allah or, P- or worshippers of Allah, then this is an admonishment. He recites an ayah and he sends salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And this is a khutbah. And then he sits down for a small amount of time and then he gets up again and then he gives another khutbah. Then after this, he leads the people in salah with a loud prayer. Then this is khutbah, this is Salat al-Jum'ah. And a person recites in Salat al-Jum'ah out aloud. And the sunnah is that after Surah al-Fatiha in the first rak'ah, he recites Surah al-A'la. And the obligation in the second rak'ah after Surah al-Fatiha is he recites Surah al-Ghashiyah. And the sunnah of the nawafil which are prayed before Salat al-Fajr is that in the first rak'ah, he recites Surah Al-Sajdah and in the second Raka'ah he recites Surah Al-Qiyamah, Surah Al-Insan.